Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Mamba on a Linux system. Mamba is a re-implementation of the Conda Package Manager. In other words, it's an improved version of the Conda Package Manager. It allows you to install packages faster than the classical Conda Package Manager. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to set it up on a Linux system. So if you want to read more about Mamba, you can visit this page. Okay. I'll leave the link to this page in the description. This is the GitHub page. Now let's go to the page which has the installation instructions. So this is the page and I'll leave the link to this page also in the description box. So when you are here, you will find a number of approaches, but these ones are not recommended. So we'll use a different approach. So let's visit the download page and then we can download the appropriate installer. So on this same page, just click this link here. I'll open mine in a new tab. Then I'll visit that page. I will leave the link to this page also in the description box. So when you are here, you'll find different versions. We have Mini Forge, we also have Mamba Forge. Okay, but we are going to use Mamba. So we will take a look at the installers in the Mamba Forge section. So let's look at what we have. So because I'm going to install on a Linux system, I'll go for the first one here, which is the x86-64, AMD64. Okay, so this is the one I'll download. So to download, I'll get a download link. You can click and download, but I'm going to use the command line to install. So I'll just do everything on the terminal. So I'll get a download link. So I'll right click. And then I'll copy the link and then I'll open a new terminal. So let me open a new terminal. Now let's see. I think I already have some terminal open, but anyway, let me just open a new one. That should be much better. Okay, so I will just enlarge it. Perfect. Okay, so once I'm here, I will just cd to my home directory first and then I will download the installer. So I will use wget. So I'll say wget and I will supply it with the download link. Okay, the one that I copied. So I'll just paste it here and then I will install it and then I will download it. Yeah, we are downloading first. So I'll execute this command to download the installer. It's a small file, so it shouldn't take much time to download. Okay, so the installer has been downloaded. So let's take a look at the file. Let's do an ls and we are going to find the file there. Okay, now we are moving on. So I'll create another directory called apps. This is where I want the installation to go. So I'll say make the apps. And then I'm going to execute this file. Okay, so I'll say bash, and then I'll call the file, and I'll say dash p because I want to use a silent mode. Okay, I want a non-interactive session, and then I'll say dash p, and then dash p here the p stands for prefix, so that means we need to specify a directory. So this directory will be created, and then all the files to be stored or saved in there. So I'll say dollar home slash apps slash mamba. Okay. You can do it this way, but if a beginner and this is going to confuse you, then you can just do this. Let's do this. Let's do an LS. Let's take a look at the apps. Let's see the into it. And then let's do a PWD. Okay, so we will use this information, this part here. Okay, so whatever you see is what you use. It's likely yours will be different from what I have here. Okay, now let's cd back to our home directory. And then let's do an ls just to confirm the installer. So now we will execute this file. So I'll say bash. And then I'll call the file again. I'll say dash b and I'll say dash p. And then dash p here, I'll now 
indicates this one here this path here okay this should be easy to follow so i'll say slash home slash bio info coach slash apps slash mamba okay so that means that the directory called mamba will be created in the apps directory here and then in that directory you have all your files okay the file that will be generated so this is how we will install mamba so let's execute this file perfect so once you do that you find these texts okay coming up so everything will be installed for us quickly so let's wait for everything to be done for us perfect it has been done so now we can proceed so let's do this let's play the screen and then continue let's run ls let's run ls into apps we are going to find our mamba directory so let's ls into it so i'll say ls apps slash mamba we are going to find all these directories so the mamba executable or yeah the main executable file can be found in the bin and then the conda bin let's do an ls into it so let's start with the bin so i say ls apps mamba bin okay i have some files here okay so all these files depend on what you want to do then you just um, execute the one which is appropriate okay so that's what we have here okay so that's for the bin and then we also have let's check we have mamba we have Kwanda, that's fine then we also have ls apps mamba Kwanda, bin that also has these ones here okay so uh, you need to make sure you set the right Perhaps that's what we are going to do later but for now for now let's test mamba okay so to test you call mamba we are going to call mamba from the directory the app slash mamba slash bin okay that's what we are going to call so i'll just ls again so that we see all the files we are going to call mamba which is here and we are also going to test conda which is here perfect now let's continue okay so i am now going to test mamba so to test mamba i'll say apps slash mamba slash bin slash mamba so once i do this i'm going to execute the file and then we can have some testing so this indicates that everything is okay Okay, for the most part, you can use your normal conda commands here. Okay, but uh, there is something we we'll look at later. You can always switch between the mamba and the conda. But just check the documentation online, then you will find how to use mamba. It's pretty straightforward and it's similar to how you use your classical conda commands. That's about it. So let's continue. Now let's also test with conda. So it's the same thing we say app slash mamba slash bean slash panda and then that will also give us our screen here okay our text here so now everything is okay but with the current setup let's just do it again with the current setup we always have to specify the path to the executables okay so this can be problematic okay because in a linear system you may be moving from one directory to the other so it's better to set it up so that you just call it with one command so for example you can just say mamba and it should give us the same output as we did okay but with the current setup it's not going to happen so what we are going to do is to set up our system so that we can just call mamba by its name here Okay, so that's what we are going to use. So to do that, we need to get the path. Okay, the path to the Mamba and the Conda executables. So we will see it to apps Mamba 
and then b and then i'll say pwd to get this path this directory i need it okay and this one should be easy to follow even if you're a beginner so you should also take note of what has been displayed here for you i repeat make sure you take note of this one okay our copy money so what i'm going to do next is to cd to my home directory and then i'm going to edit the dot bash rc file and then i'll put this one in it so i'll say nano and then i'll say dot bash rc and then i'll open it and then i'll scroll down to any empty space so we have some stuff here okay so i'll scroll down to an empty space here so what i'll do is to say export path equals dollar path colon and then i'll paste the path to the mamba and the quanda files so this is it and then after that i'll close it so i'll say control x and then i'll save the changes make sure you have it the same as i have here it's important so let's save the change perfect so now we can open a new terminal and then we can say mamba so this should give us the output here okay so this is how we set up mamba okay on the line of system now there's something else we need to do let's do some tests let's check something else but that one I'll use Conda. So we need to set up our environment. We need to make sure everything is okay. So we will just do a test by installing a tool or some tools. So I'll say Conda config show channels. So when you set up Mamba by default, it adds the Conda port channel, but you can add other channels as well. Okay, so if you are watching this video, there are lots of tutorials I've made where I've shown how to add channels. Okay, so if I want to um, install tools, I need to add appropriate channels. So for bioinformatics, we also have BioPanda. We also have Panda. There are other channels. So depending on what you want, then you can you can add the appropriate channels. Now let's do a test. Let's just say we want to install, let's say some tools okay, using Mamba. Okay. So to do that, you need to add another channel that is by Conda. So I can say Conda config add channels and I'll add by Conda. Perfect. Okay. So once I've done this, then I can install tools. Okay. So before you install tools, you also need to Create an environment so you create an environment and install some tools so i can say number creates dash n i'll say some tools now say some tools again so this is the name of the environment this is the tool so let's create the environment and install the some tools so once you do that you have this coming up so Installation is fast when you are using Mamba. So let's wait for everything to be done for us. We are still testing and, and just to make sure that everything is running nice and smooth. So let's wait for everything to be done. Okay, so now we need to type Y for yes. And then Mamba will install the packages so the packages will be downloaded and then installed and then configured for us so let's wait for everything to get done for us okay so some tools are been installed so once everything is done you'll find this notification to activate this environment use so so and so so now if you want to test some tools you need to activate the environment so to activate you have to use this command mamba activate so let's do that so I'll say Mamba activates some tools. Okay, but if let's say 
you are not sure of the environment you have, you can still list them. So I can say Conda M list to list my environments. Okay, so this is the one we added. So now we can activate it. So I can say Conda activate some tools. Perfect. So because it's a new installation, once you activate the environment, it's likely you get this coming up. Okay, this test coming up. So that means you need to do some further configuration on your system. So that's what we are going to do next. So once you see this, you then we have to also run the command mamba in it. Okay, and then that will help us to set things up. So we can say mamba in it like this. Then once you do that, you have this coming up. Okay, so this here indicates that the init command and um, has taken effect. The changes has the init command has been completed successfully. Okay, so it tells us we need to open a new shell if you want to see the changes take effect. So you open a new shell, a new terminal. Okay, so once we do this. Then you can continue, but you also see this coming up. This base, this is the default base environment. So we can active, you can activate it, okay, or deactivate it. So with what we have now, anytime we open a shell, the base environment will be activated automatically. For but sometimes you may not want that behavior, so you can change that behavior as well. Okay, so let's first change this behavior where the base environment always gets activated. Okay, so to do that, we need to issue this command. Let's do that now. So to change the behavior where the base environment gets activated automatically, you say under okay, sets. You say sets auto activate base, and you say Pause like this. Perfect. So once you do it this way, when you open a new terminal again, you are going to see that the base environment is not there. It has not been activated. So this is how we set it up. Okay. So now that is done. So now we can continue to test. So we can just call number again, which is fine. We can say conda and lists the list of environments and now we can finally activate our environment so to activate you can use conda or mamba but i'll use mamba so i can say mamba activates some tools so this will activate some tools for us okay you can also use conda to activate or deactivate it's up to you but i prefer to use Mamba. Okay, so once you do it, you can call some tools and that should give us some information here. Okay, so you have some tools and then you can decide to now perform your analysis by installing the rest of the tools. Okay, once you are done, you can deactivate it again. So, so to deactivate, you say Mamba deactivates. And this will deactivate the environment for us. So let's do that first. Perfect. So now the environment has been activated. So this is how we install and set up Mamba on a Linux system. So Mamba will allow you to install tools faster. Okay. If there are situations where if you use the normal Conda for installing packages, it takes a lot of time. It takes a very long time before. It gets installed, but Mamba will install it quickly for you. So once you're able to install Mamba, then it becomes easier to install all these other packages. So you can also check my playlist here, which also shows other tutorials on Conda. So check this ones if you also want to know how to install my informatics tools. So that'll be all. See you in the next session.